my name is Yamache. In this particular video, we're discussing the Aero 2024 knockout stages and we know how exciting it has been. I mean, I've watched the entire tournament and I think it's been a really good tournament, even though there are some games where I thought there could have been more goals. So, I have here with me Ben and we're talking about the Euro 2024 prediction. Charlie Ben, what's up? At the champion. How you see the tournament so far? Exciting game so far, very good games. Uh, has been brilliant and has met my expectation even though we've had some ups and downs in this particular round of uh, matches. You know, matches and all those stuff it has been exciting seeing that some there are some countries that we expected to perform much more but they they performed be below our expectations has been very exciting some top players have has proven that they are still they are in their forms and all those stuff so so far so good exciting game so far yes, yes. so uh, who has been who has been your best player so far for the tournament uh so far so good i i, I can't uh personally point at one player but has, there has been uh, good players from spain from georgia from portugal from you know Netherlands, Cody Gakpo like this has been exceptional for the Netherlands. Lami Yamal, Lami Yamal. Williams, uh, Spain particularly. My, my best country so far has been Spain, and we've seen the they are the only country who have come out with nine points, has not conceded even one goal. Good job from Luis de la Fuente. There were people who were saying that he had young. I think he's with the youngest squad in in the tournament, and he has proven that. Football has now, you know, been transformed into, you know, science now. And so you don't need uh, some particular players or aged players to perform. Or you only need people who understand your system and be able to perform for you on the pitch. And we've seen Luis de la Fuente perform that for us on, on, the, on the tournament. So I'm saying that Spain has been exceptional. Lamy Yamal, Nico Williams, Murata, Fabian Ruiz. And when you go to Belgium like this, Kevin De Bruyne has been top notch. He has been very exceptional, except for the fact that He's not had players who will help him, you know, utilize the chances chances he has been creating so far so good. But so far so good. I mean, these players have been good here. Yeah. Spain will face in Georgia in the first knockout game, and I mean, it's going to be a good game. Spain went to the into the uh, group stages and won three out of three, nine points, conceding no goals, scoring crucial three goals to zero, beating Albania one zero. The a squad that he a squad that Luis de, de la Fuente uh, rotated. And they're going to face Georgia in this game. And Georgia is a side that beats Portugal 2-0. And I mean Portugal went to that game with a I mean without their main squad. And Georgia won 2-0. And Georgia have made history to qualify into the first time into the run of sitting. Spain versus Georgia. It's going to be a very good game. Georgia has played four games. Um, Georgia has played three games and has scored four goals. And have considered four goals. Spain have played three games, has scored five goals and considered zero. Who's going to this game as favorite? Of course, it's uh, I think Spain. I mean as we, we we discussed just recently, we told you that Spain are favourites to win this particular tournament, and we've seen their performances so far and head to head on paper. I don't think Georgia can stand a chance against them. You know they will they pull up a surprise. Uh, mind you, they only beat. I can boldly claim that they only beat Portugal because of the fact that uh, Roberto Martinez decided to rotate. And I mean, I mean Portugal lacked the sense of. Uh, patriotism and all those stuff because they they knew they had already qualified and the players that were put don't forget that the players that faced Georgia were I mean were were far more excellent than Georgia I'm not I'm in the terms of performance I'm not saying but player by player they better and the normal day they are, they are supposed to be scoring Georgia yes but football I mean it's you have to show your sense of passion this is country for your country you have to show your passion and i didn't see that from the portuguese boys because they, are the, they had already qualified and at the end of the day we saw ronaldo i mean frustrated going throughout the tournament at the uh knockout at the group stages the group stages without a, goal. without a goal frustrated and all those things so i mean uh spain georgia will not stand a, a chance against spain Spain will qualify to the next round of football because this is not the time that Luis de la Fuente will, I mean, will come in with a different tactics. And we know the type of football that Spain tends to play and all those stuff. So I don't think that Georgia will pull up a surprise. I, I mean, they'll bring a, a match to Spain, but in the end, Spain will qualify, yes. So there are two things in this game for me. I think that if Spain do not score a goal in the first half, it will probably end up in penalties and Georgia will qualify. Because I've seen this before because Spain went to the, to the World Cup having this same record 
three games, one other three games. If they even beat, I think they even beat Bosnia or something 8 0 in the, in the World Cup. And then when they went to the group stages against Morocco, they were knocked out. They have to score the goals, I mean, very early in the matches. Uh, they have to score the goals very early in the game and then kill the game as soon as possible. But if they don't do that, with Willis Sanyo on the bench for Georgia, I think they can get a draw and probably win this game on penalty kicks. So let's go to the next game. The game is Germany, Germany versus Denmark. Germany has been. Uh, the Euro uh, host nation and they are playing amazing football. Germany played Denmark. Denmark wasn't able to score England, but they were really good in the attacking third. Germany versus Denmark, who's going to win the game? It is going to be a very difficult game. Seeing that Denmark throughout their games, they had they drew throughout, not even a lose a loss or a win, and they had three points qualifying from uh, the group stages. And I feel like. Uh, me personally, Germany has not impressed me so much. We are only mentioning the names of, I think, Jamal Musiala. Jamal Musiala. Because Flanders. obviously, going into this tournament, we expected to see mu much more from them. Uh, but I don't think with the, their performance, uh, they have proven to be extraordinary or anything. Seeing the performance that Spain has given us, and even France. The problem with France is that they are refusing to score goals, and they can't score. That is why we... we People are not even actually talking about it because they know what France can do. But back to the Germany conversation. Germany has a good squad and we've seen what uh, Nagosman has done in the previous games. I think recent, recently, I thought they were going to start, they played a match against the Drew. I mean, I feel like they, against were, Switzerland. Against, they were going to lose, obviously. Yes, because and Niklas Fugrug. I mean, it took Niklas Fugrug, as you said, to equalize for them to have seven points on top of their league log. I'm saying that Denmark are going to bring the game to them because Denmark have stars like Christensen and Anderson. I mean, uh, Pierre I mean, Holbrook. they have a quality squad who can all all, all, all day they step the Germans. So I'm saying that I think the host nation will try to, I mean, give a wonderful performance for their country and all those stuff. But uh, to me, going into this game to be very very difficult for the boys, for the German boys. I mean. Demand Demand could bring it to them. It's and not going to be easy. It's yes. not going to be easy at all. If anyone sits anywhere and say that this game is going to be easy peasy for them, it's not because Denmark might even score Germany. Okay, so what's your prediction of the game? Uh, I, I might go with a slim win for Denmark. <laughs> I'm telling the truth. No, no, no. I, I'm, I'm not. I'm not convinced. Of how, I mean, look at how they played against Switzerland. They struck. This was the first team of Germany. The first, the team that scored, I think, in their first game. They, Jamal Musiala started in that particular third game, and Florian Vest started. They were they had Tony Cruz and now everyone in the game. They struggled to beat Switzerland. Yes. And it took four crook to score to yes. get an equalizer. I, I think it was also fair that Kahavets uh, didn't have a good game. I mean. Kahavets uh, in the past three games has has had very bad games and so so if your coach starts with starts so I'm, with I'm, Fogru, I'm sure they're going I to get I think <laughs> look, you see this type of coaches they are very stubborn and I feel like Nagosman will still start Havet because he has clearly confirmed that any day or day Havet is his best game nine because of his work rate and the type of football he wants to play. The kind of force now he plays. So I'm saying that me personally. I'm going for a slim win for Denmark. The only way Germ uh, Germany are winning is when they have that Hansi Flick mentality. Go in, go in, score goals. Deadly attack. Put in more goals. Make use of your wingers. Uh, don't, don't, don't draw back proper. I mean, go take the ball to them. I mean, if they play that kind of football, I mean, they are going to win this game. I mean, we've seen Schmeichel Sh is now old. And his agent just hit the ball to them. It was England that or Masanti, they were not able to score them. So I think if if Germany are with that mentality, that ragged, strong mentality, they can beat the Denmark and go through. But you are still predicting 1 0 win for, for Denmark because okay. of what I've seen. So but far. I'm telling you for a fact that this is a match that no matter the news that uh, Denmark come with, Germany is going to make life work of them. Three goes to one on my side for hmm. Germany. So the next game is Portugal versus Slovenia. Portugal, Slovenia. We don't spend much time here. Easy game. Oh, easy peasy for for Portugal for Roberto Martinez. I don't think you see with what they had, with uh, with what they saw with the match in the match against Georgia. I don't think it's going to happen. There was there was it was chaotic on the side of the Portugal fans with what they saw against Georgia. I mean, all what the fans want to see is that when you go into a tournament as a big uh, country. You are supposed to be winning all games and if any country has to score 
uh, Portugal, Portugal there is no Georgia, Georgia. You understand? Yeah. even on the day you might have an excuse of saying that you have used uh, your second squad but I mean Joao Gomez will all every day start John Neves and, and John Neves sorry will start on on, on the uh, uh, Georgian yes, team Asma is looking for him I mean every I mean, I mean uh, Jao Feles uh, Antonio Silva and oh unfortunately and I, I felt and bad for and no the left back the centre back Antonio Silva you understand the mm-hmm. one who made mistakes here. Yes. I mean, I felt very bad for him. But going into the game, Slovenia, it's a no-no for me. Or Black knows, Benjamin Chesko knows, it's a loss for them. So they even qualify with a slim chance. So it's a win, straight win for Portugal. Portugal yeah. are going through with Bernardo Silva on the pitch. They are going through simple. I think at least two goals for Portugal. Two goals. Portugal will win this game by two goals zero. So France Belgium. France Belgium. Let me let me take my let me have my take. Hmm. I think uh, Dominic Tedesco is a good coach, but he can't seem to find a balance between the defense, the midfield, and the attack. And when they are playing the game, there's so much space between the lines. I think France is going to is going to kill them if they play that that same game that they played in the group games. And look, this is the truth. France is the, France is, France are clear favorites for the game. I don't see why I don't see why Belgium have the squad and they are not able to play amazing football. If Belgium goes go to this game. With that open open line defense with wild fires and all these guys, Charlie, they are losing. I'm telling the fact that it's going to be a three goals to one or three goals to two in favor of France. I mean, what will happen that will change is if they if they change or switch the attack to a counter attack information with Jeremy Duku, Johan Bakayoko, with Lukaku picking from a loss up and down, with uh, Kevin Dubona picking maximum from, they can probably get something. But if they go and defend, Charlie, it's, it's a done deal for France. What do you think? France are not defending. Mm-hmm. And as you said, mm-hmm. I agree with you on the their main for their midfield has been very, very bad. Very poor. And facing France who has a midfield of Kanti, Adrian Rabio or Ch- and Chouameni, it's going to be a deadly game. Deadly game. Midfield, is, very strong. Midfield. I sit here. There is nothing that Tedesco will do that will qualify. <laughs> All that France has to do is to score goals because obviously they are going to create many chances. Jesus. And France has a very good goalkeeper in the shape of Mike Magnon. Yeah. Very good defense, but I don't trust Upamecano. Me personally, I would like Saliba to pair with uh, uh, Kunde on the centre back and oh. start Benjamin Pavard the right back. Oh, what, what, what happened to the Liverpool, Liverpool men? No, Konate. 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 No, 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 no. Konate. Konate. Saliba. Saliba all day. Okay. Upamecano is even ahead of Konate. Back then at Le- Leipzig, Leipzig, it was far ahead of him. Well, uh, is, uh, but he was far ahead of him. Who moved okay. to Bayern face? Was it not Upamecano? But so okay. I'm saying that Konate even knows, you understand? And with all these injury issues and all that, we can't p- be playing that club of football over here. So he knows that he should start on the bench for the time being. But as we go on, <laughs> we will play uh, Benjamin Pavard and Jules Kunde and uh, Saliba, solid shape, two hundred go in the midfield with Chouameni, Kante doing all, can Kante doing all what he will do, Antoine Griezmann back in the squad, Adrian Raibio and uh, what do we call him, Mbappe and Dembele, and going forward, when Dembele creates the chances, there are some chances that when Dembele creates, he's supposed to utilize those chances and finish them, <laughs> but instead, you want to make an assist inf- instead of scoring, mm-hmm. and if he does that in the game that is coming, it will affect them so badly. Mm-hmm. You understand? And Mbappe too. You know, France's issue has only they qualify with only one uh not one even one single from open play. One goal was an own goal and one was a penalty. And they had five cont- uh, p- very poor. I expected to have maybe six point, seven point going forward. Or even nine points. You understand? So but going forward, I feel like if they create their chances, they should be little up front. Score Get in in Dembele, tell them to shoot make use of Griezmann make use of Mbappe you have one of the most uh, um, serious player on in your in your in your squad that is killing Mbappe make use of him understand you mm-hmm. want you already want he has already has that energy to prove himself to to make a statement that he's coming to Real Madrid so he needs to score more goals understand mm-hmm. so going into this game I feel like killing Mbappe and the likes of Usman Dembele they should put on their bad games and France will just go Charlie, to, yes. France, France will be Belgium in this game. It's going to be that easy. Charlie, Romania versus Netherlands. Quick one. Oh, I don't trust. You see, eh? I, I beg to differ. I mean, I, I didn't agree with a lot of people going to this tournament about Ronald Koeman. Ronald Koeman. But I'm starting to believe that I don't know what is wrong with this. Country. No, it's not good enough. Because, for me, I mean, Netherlands have one of the best squads in the, yes, in the tournament. In the tournament. 
How do you say that for Austria to beat you? No matter I mean, what Austria has done. Even though Rafa Gnick is good, I mean, well. you no. have, I mean, you have better players. But Rafa, if, let's change the coach. If Rafa Gnick coaches Netherlands and Koeman still, still, Netherlands will beat them. Yes. So I'm saying that you have got Gapo, you have Memphis Depay, Javi Simons. These guys have been good in the. And, and you, you even class. have one of the best defense in. Uh, it will be Van Dijk, you have Nathan Ake, you have plenty. Of defense. But uh, 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 this guy plays for Inter Milan. Sometimes it also comes down to individual errors in the game. I understand, but if you're a coach, you're able to. You're, you're supposed to try and create this harmony in your defense. Make sure you don't. Call. How, how do you consider three goals against Austria? Austria will defend, and, make, and they don't want any goal. Anytime you want a goal, they got a goal they wanted. And it is good for us. When I come out, when I come out, was playing football was a defender. And if you're a defender and you're a coach and you cannot install basic defensive principles in your in your team, I mean, who are, who are, who are you supposed to blame? Exactly. Exactly. So when I come out, it's a fault. Uh, and if when I come out doesn't be Romania, I mean, I won't be surprised. I mean, there was this notion as he went into the press and spoke about half the. Frankie de Jong's injury and everything oh, no, has, 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 has affected, the affected his squad and all those things. But I can't take that from a coach like you. You have Wijnaldum on the You have, I mean, Ryan Des, You have, I mean, of course, you made some, you made some plays. He missed Martin De Roon, Coupe Minus. Coupe Minus. This were obviously but three. You should try. You know, I mean, this were obviously, you, he has a fair case over here. This were a solid three midfielders that he was, I mean, depending on who was going to depend on in the Euro Scoop minus Martin De Roon and Frankie De Jong. I mean these are top top defenders. But still as a coach you, are, you should be able to gel the team together as you said so that they can get results because this is a big, you can't make excuses that some of your players are injured. No. Make good use of them and put them on the pitch. They give you results. You understand? So going into the game, may I know that Netherlands will qualify. Yes. They will beat Romania. They qualify. Oh they qualify. Romania Romania is not they are co-equal. Okay, understand. So, but I, mean, I, I don't expect them to be excellent on the day. Maybe they should, they should just win. Van Dijk as a captain, I expect much more from Van Dijk. Mm -hmm. Show patriotism. I mean, I don't know if it is getting into this. Is that that is one of the legends? I don't know. You understand? Look at his abysmal performance in the match against uh, uh, how do you call him Austria? It, as a, a top class defender like you, mark. you can't just beat the offside trap and just and just set it an offside for him and make. So I'm saying that's why Rugulet and the legends are complaining. Yes. Most of them are going to the place. Look at Memphis Depay. Mm -hmm. Instead of you to be playing mm -hmm. football, mm -hmm. you are, you are, I mean, you are, you are massa. So we expect much more from them. So some of the legends of the Netherlands, you know, country are very angry, furious about the fact that the players are not showing patriotism enough and they're not putting on their best performance. But it goes back to, I mean, if you look at Ronald Koeman's, Ronald Koeman's lineup throughout, the same lineup. It's not the same lineup. Okay. He's been tweaking it. There's the game he will start Gertruda and sometimes he will start Jer uh, Jeremy Frimpong. And throughout the three games, he's changed his formation throughout. He doesn't know what So, I mean, Ronald Kuma as a coach, I mean, we are, we are, we are blasting uh, uh, Southgate and all those. But Southgate has proven that he has this lineup that you need. The day they shall have this same lineup. Same But Ronald Kuma changing, changing, changing things. You know what you are doing. You understand? You mm -hmm. can't just change personnel and not have uh perfect rules for them so mm. going on forward we need Ronald Koeman to beat Romania and move forward yes okay so Austria Turkey I think this is an easy one straight one Austria is going to qualify uh, no matter what Turkey does this is, like, this, this is done because Austria are a team that are they are playing a system game they are a team that are playing a very good person they have a 4-2-2 to set up with Sabitza and they, they likes my guy Kevin Danson even did play the last game they have it they have a squad they beat Netherlands, they will be Turkey, honestly. Exactly. This is going to be a 3 1 win. It's an easy game for easy, 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 easy game for Austria. Austria must put, must put that performance again again up that they put against Netherlands. Mm -hmm. They can't just. I, I, don't, I don't think they'll put it in their head that um, no, no, they, are they are going to face no. uh, Turkey as a smaller club. No. Mm -hmm. They should put up that performance. That mentality should mm -hmm. be in their head that mm -hmm. they are now getting the beat Netherlands. Take it should be easy for them. Mm -hmm. So me personally, I'm not going to go deep into this game. Austria exactly. qualify. Austria going yes. England Slovakia. Oh, hmm. it's simple game for England. If England plays with Kobmin in the middle, and then brings some Cole Palmer or try and change the system, England has to qualify. But if they're going to play this negative football, I mean, look, if they don't get one goal in the first half, Slovakia will try and worry this people. The, the issue, the issue with Southgate is that he's afraid to concede. And as a coach, if you are afraid to consider, consider, I don't know the kind of mindset you have. It pains me that Ineos and Jim Radcliffe actually thought about the fact that <laughs> they wanted they would, they would like to bring Southgate to Manchester to United. Everything. No, no, it was not a good decision. With this, with this tactics, no. 
I mean, Southgate, on paper, they are, they should be able to be Slovakia. Yes, if that okay. is if there's a they draw against Slovenia. Don't forget, yes, they draw against Slovenia. They, they can't score goals. I mean, so going forward, there are shouts going on that Kopama has to start. I mean, Kopama should be able to play against in. Slovakia. This is Slovakia. Yes, Slovakia. This is the time that if you want to play that same system, I'm not. You know, I'm not. I'm not against uh, Southgate's kind of formation so bad. But putting their proper personnel in that position. Yeah, exactly for this game. We saw how Anthony Gordon came in and changed everything Anthony with one Gordon, pass. We saw how Kobe 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 you know, these guys are clearly showing that they want to play this game. Yeah. They don't want to sit on the bench. So, so going on for so I mean, if you have to bench folding, bench folding. Bench fold. If these guys are going to give you the results that you if you want, have to bench Bellingham, I don't have bench any Bellingham. issue with, with so far with Jude Bellingham. But just put this place in the right foot position, mm-hmm. just in the midfield, just put mm-hmm. the clan rice, put Menu here, put Jude Bellingham up and then number ten, put Anthony Gordon and then number eleven, put uh, what do we call him, uh, 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 Buka Isaac, hey, Kopama. No, 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 Buka Isaac. Let me start. <laughs> And then Ama- Kopama can come back from can but no, England back. can also go back to a 3 4 3 system and then probably play clearly play you know, Saka as a right winger. I'm, I don't think he will go, oh, go back. back to the 3 back system. I don't think he will go. But if he goes back to the 3 back system, it will help him a lot. Yeah, you understand. So, I, I mean, if he wants to stay with that system, just use different personnel. In, in, the, in the squad that he currently has, the best player on that. Squad. squad that side of I think the the left side is folding. It's no, it's uh, uh how Should do you call No, no, attacking Anton Gordon. Okay, for that position. For that position. Yes. Because you don't have Rashford. You don't, you don't have, have, you don't you don't have, have I don't know why he, he didn't decide. He decided, he decided not to go with uh. uh and as he as number ten. Yeah, team so, so, and a better chance can even play at that role. But you can see that folding clearly is struggling. At that, that position. Yeah, you understand? So I'm saying that if anything will happen. It depends on Southgate. Use the proper personnel. So I'd like him to see a change personnel, but it will be hard that he will change. It. He will change for folding and Bukayo Saka, and he will maintain that. From, or if he will change anything, he will change Kobmenu and Trent. You understand? <laughs> and just that because we saw how excellent Kobmenu was in, in the, the forty-five minutes that he came. So well, I told you that Galahad Galaha coming into that position will not change. It's the yeah. same thing. Yes. You understand? Because this guy, Gala is not press resistant. He, he can't do that job. It's only a box to box. So he just helps him. Adam Martin, put him in that position. He will play. Hey, if you want a player that is good in that position, they are squad currently is Adam Martin. Yes, I think six. But I don't think that he trusts him enough to, for him. Adam Martin is a better I mean, number six. Experience wise and everything. But <laughs> that position, for somebody who can drop in and take the ball and that kind of football that you want to play. Simple passes. It ah, is Adam Martin. Adam Martin. But, Someone similarly close to him is Kobmenu. So if you can't, and Kobmenu has the sort of he's able to dribble in tight space. Just, just give eight. him that opportunity. To give you options also let him when you attack. You understand? But so when it comes to defense solidity, as interceptions, you have uh, Adam Horton. Southgate has made all these players very bad, including yes, Hurricane, including the Bellingham. You understand? Bellingham. So this is clearly the fault of Southgate. Yes. Yeah. So. If you give this team to Guardiola, I'm telling you by now, oh, simple, simple, that this simple, is like, simple, this simple, 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 So the next game is the last, the next and the last game is Switzerland versus Italy. Um, hmm. I think this is going to be the game where we probably finally see someone going to play penalty kicks because Switzerland is a good team, Italy is a good side. Who's going to win? Uh, me so far, so good. Luciano Spalotti, as Spalletti has done his best. Mm-hmm. Of what he can do. I mean, after all that, Roberto Mancini sent them through uh, with, with with their journey so far. Italy has had some struggles here and there. Yes, they didn't qualify for the last World Cup. When it comes to mm-hmm. their country football, and they brought in Spalletti for a long term project as they did with Mancini. So so far so good. He's brought in young boys like the Calafiori, the Zakani who scored in the late equalizer against the match against I think was it who was it. Uh, Croatia, Croatia. That send them off. So I mean, excellent performance from Luciano Spalletti so far, and he's bringing the confidence back in the team, giving Lorenzo Pellegrini the chance to start players like Barella, Federico Chiesa. So far, has had I mean bad games so far, so good, but decent performance from some of the boys so far, and kudos to Luciano Spalletti for giving these guys the mentality and go for back. If if on paper, the kind of football that uh, Switzerland plays on football, I think. If if Spalletti and his boys are not careful, 
it might surprise everyone switzerland will go through yes there are very little they use their wing very very well yes he goes with the three back system and use his wings three, very, three, four, very two, well. one. and this is the same system that jaka plays at by yeah, so yeah. it fits him perfectly yes so, can, can, so, so i mean i mean embolo is back in the squad i mean i thought that Indoye, he was, the, I mean, the, he was going to start uh Indoye guy the Indoye guy uh, is a guy to watch so <laughs> switzerland has been very 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 good with manu akanji at the back but i mean these guys are very good so going in the uh, in the game i can't boldly say that switzerland might qualify or but it's a it's a 50 50 game for me mm-hmm. and i mean if italy will qualify to be on the fact that they, they carry such a good mentality and, and be good. don't forget that uh, they have one of the best defense in the tournament. Yes, yeah, you understand. No, no, I'm not talking about Switzerland. I'm talking Italy. about Italy. Okay, you understand with Alejandro Bastoni, Calafiore. I'm unfortunately Calafiore is going to miss this particular game yes. because he has two yellow cards. So that's the I mean, for so I mean, I mean, they are going to be good, and I think for me, if I had to pick one side. I think Italy are going to qualify. Yes. Charlie, guys, thank you for watching this video to the end. The best yet to come. Bye for